the biggest problems for humanity in the past few decades has been the global warming. The global warming has been the menace which we have come to understand the damages it has done and can do in the future to humanity. It has been said that the source of the global warming is the extra and overproduction of CO2 by using different kind of fuels, by burning fuels. In fact, in the past few days, the world leaders, 120 of them, have met in the United Nations to find a solution for the CO2. What can we do and how we can bring it under control? In fact, in the past millions of years, the planet Earth has found its own solution. With plants, the leaf absorbs CO2 and on the given condition, it releases oxygen. The leaf is a CO2 extraction system. That's why so many of you pay so much money to plant trees around the world to leave a green fingerprint. To be able to allow the trees to build as many leaves that in the long run they can absorb part of the CO2 which you, you created by burning fuel, by running cars, can be extracted from the environment that you feel better and justify for abuse of the nature. The technology at this moment with the Keshe Foundation is so advanced and so simple that we have understood the work of a leaf. And in understanding the plasma technology, the way the nature is, the way the nature works, we have managed to replicate the work of the leaf, which means if you look at the life and the leaf of a plant, the leaf has two sides. One side is nano-layered differently in respect to the back. And when the fields in between the two layers interact, they lead to creation of the magnetic gravitational field around the leaf that this gravitational magnetic field is equal to gravitational magnetic field of the plasma of CO2. So what the leaf does is actually creates plasmatic magnetic field, a magnet for CO2, that the CO2 around the leaf is absorbed to the leaf. Now, in advancement in technology, we have managed to do the same with a very simple process. And this process is that as we shown in other videos with the Fukushima and now the trials which are going on in Africa regarding Ebola, that you can create nanolayers very much like the nanolayer on the leaf of a plant by using the process which we have shown in other videos to create a very simple nanolayer on the copper wire or a copper plate where you can produce this is a copper plate which has been nano-coated where you can create one side properties of the leaf which is for example the top. This is the nano layer on the top. As I said before the field created between the two layers the back and the front nano layers leads to creation of the environment that extract CO2 from the environment. So by nano-coating the copper and then trying to find the second plate. We have discovered that by using nickel plate in a simple form, we can create the half of the environment needed for extraction. When we put the two leaves, the two plates in a container, and then the other factor for the plant to be able to process the carbon, CO2, is water and salt. There is a water and salt in a different composition in between two layers. So what we have done, we replicated the same process. 
By putting water and salt in the container with a plate, one nano plate and one nickel plate, we create an environment exactly like the leaf. What happens is that the plates in presence of the water and salt create a magnetic field gravitational level on the surface of the box equal to of the CO2. So when you connect the two plates together electronically by wire electrically you'll find that the system will start absorbing CO2 from the environment exactly like a leaf with a beautiful beautiful residual that this is not a talk and a dream. You can go into the substance, into the bottom of the container and extract the CO2. So you have managed to do what the leaf does. And you can extract it as you need it and as is extracted from the environment. And in this process, you can collect as much GANS, what we call it gas in nano state, as you can see in this container.